hey what's going on you know who it is you know what it is all right you guys peep game check this out all right man um i'll be doing more videos later on in regards to this subject this is the first uh video i wanted to do in regards to uh this particular fight coming up because today is the first press conference uh between manny pacquiao and keith thurman if i'm not mistaken it'll start i guess maybe around maybe 8 a.m 9 a.m my time or something like that it's in new york so i think the first one is in new york then they have one in la and 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 so on and so on i think it'll be three of them I don't know where the next one is. But nevertheless, Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman, July the 20th. MGM Grand, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now here's the thing. I want to talk about this fight because it's just time to tell the truth about this shit. Like I said, I say the shit that a lot of people do not want to hear or want me to say. But anybody that's been listening to my channel already know I don't give a fuck. Now, I'm going to talk about this Manny Pacquiao Keith Thurman fight. Who has more to lose? Now, we already know who has more to lose, and that is Keith Thurman. Because at the end of the day, the pressure is going to be on him to fight Manny Pacquiao and beat Manny Pacquiao and beat him decisively, if not knock him out. Keith Thurman is the favorite in this fight. He's supposed to win this fight. But, however, if he loses this fight, Keith Thurman's legacy is down the drain because they will say he was overrated. They will make fun of the fact that he lost to a 40 year old fighter. And then due to the fact, you know how a lot of the uh, colonizers, AKA, you know, the clear people love to play, you know, non black fighters up against black fighters. They like to do the instigating and shit, the colonizers. You know who the fuck they are and shit. So that'll come into play. Those videos will start jumping off because like I said, at the end of the day, Keith Thurman was a cherry pick for Manny Pacquiao. And I don't give a fuck about no Pacquiao fans getting mad saying Keith Thurman got this belt and all that shit. But at the end of the day, Keith Thurman was the easiest title holder as far as Manny Pacquiao, who he would take his chances with. Because keep in mind, Keith Thurman has barely fought three times within the last three years. Uh, Crawford has been very active. And Spence has been very active. So, at the end of the day, who would you rather fight a dude that's barely didn't fought and Keith Thurman? Like I said, I'm not worried about people getting mad. Because like I said, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what y'all think. This is my channel. This is my outlet. Like I said, if y'all bitch asses don't like what I'm saying, get the fuck off my channel. Don't listen. Like I said, I'm not going to come here and like make y'all feel good and praising Manny Pacquiao because I know what the fuck he's doing. Most people with common sense know what he's doing. This was the easiest route Manny Pacquiao wanted to go. He could have fought Crawford several times and he chose not to fight Crawford. He decided not to fight. He didn't even want to fight Jeff Horn in a rematch. And Jeff Horn offered him a rematch and he said no. Okay, so let's just stop it with the bullshit. You know? But if I'm Manny, I would take my chance with Keith Thurman, even though I think it could backfire on him. I think Keith Thurman is going to do better against Manny than people think he is. Manny will have his moments, but I think if Keith Thurman can hold up and not get caught, I think he'll be all right. If Manny Pacquiao couldn't stop Adrian Broner, then I don't think he could stop Keith Thurman. Because one, I just don't think Betty Pacquiao is going to take chances and try to fight Keith Thurman on the inside because he risked a chance of getting hit with an uppercut. And Keith Thurman, dude, got a nasty uppercut. I think he's going to do what he usually do. He's going to reset, jump in, jump out, throw three punch combinations, three, four punch combinations, jump out, reset, come back in. You know, Manny Pacquiao isn't that good of a boxer he is a brawler he can punch that's fact Manny Pacquiao doesn't throw that many jabs his jab is ugly as fuck Manny Pacquiao you know what I'm saying he tries to like catch you he tries to overwhelm you with with activity and Manny Pacquiao doesn't throw the punches he used to throw he doesn't throw a thousand punches no more and we all know why that is 
you know we all know why Manny Pacquiao isn't mysteriously throwing a thousand punches like he did against Cloudy and a couple of other people you know take that however you want once again don't give a fuck but like I said a lot is riding on Keith Thurman winning this fight because if he loses and if he loses badly man oh man if I was Keith Thurman I would man I would consider not fighting ever again this would be a terrible loss for Keith Thurman to suffer his first loss against a 40 year old past his prime best years is behind him Manny Pacquiao a guy who lost to Jeff Horn and got slaughtered by Terrence Crawford so I'll talk more about this on the live stream so you know it is what it is man anyway I'm out